Hi guys, this is Jill Donenfeld from Dishes Dish. Uh, she has an amazing company that makes food for people so they don't have to cook. Basically makes them amazing meals that are organic and they do it in a very, very green way for a whole week. Yep, um, the way that we do things is very eco and sustainable. We come to your house once a week so we save you all of the back and forth trips to the grocery store during gas. the week. <laughs> all gas. All that gas. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Um, and we shop at local farmers markets, so everything that we get is, you know, local, um, organic, we try, you know, so it's all really fresh and, you know, really the best that California has to offer. Mm -hmm. um, and then we come and we cook a bunch of meals that will last you throughout the week, and we load it up into your Tupperware, your container, and really try to work within your kitchen to, to keep things and we use it. Yeah. Yeah, to reuse yeah. it. Yeah. So unlike delivery services, you know, where they drop off this like giant cooler that has all this stuff in it that you then throw away. It's very wasteful. We try to keep things really streamlined and really just fit into your life and, and save you the trips to the grocery store and, you know, supply you with great local yummy food. And healthy food too. Yeah. And I'm sure you know um, I actually tasted your food at, a, at the supper club event. Oh, that's um, nice. Yeah, that's how I met you guys. And um, and I was like, this is so good. This was just so delicious. And I remember there was like a sugar-free and flour-free cake. Have some good chefs. I yes. <laughs> and it's great because I guess you teach people um, about healthy choices as well. Absolutely. Which is, which is a lot of people don't know um, why organic is better. I, I can taste the difference. Um, and that's also why I planted my own garden now, and I have my own herbs. We actually have yes. some of it uh, right here. We got mint, we got arugula, we got basil, and basil, different kinds of basil. We got strawberries, I'll show you right here. There's one strawberry that's, l that's ready to be um, eaten, and I'm going to have a party around it, just because. Today we're going to use some of the herbs, yes. basil, and um, arugula we to make some little shrimp and avocado toast that we can eat for lunch. Yes. Um, it's one of my favorite things that I make for myself all the time. And I love I love making it in California because the avocados are amazing. I know. I, I get know. these little avocados from the farmer's market that uh -huh. are like single serving avocados. They're really great. Um, wow. So we can do one for each of us, put it on some La Brea bakery bread, uh -huh. um, mixed with our herbs, and uh -huh. we'll saute up some shrimp that I got from Santa Monica Seafood and have a nice light Yay. lunch. Very excited, let's do it. I like to make things that are simple. Now also in terms of buying fish mm -hmm. and yeah, shellfish, do you have any advice for people? Well, if you live in California, you should get your fish from Santa Monica Seafood. Mm -hmm. I've always gotten amazing, mm -hmm. amazing fish from there. They are very informative. If you have any mm -hmm. questions, you can always ask. I had a question last time about Smoked salmon from um, Scotland versus uh -huh. the Atlantic smoked salmon. Oh yeah, I never knew the difference, and it turns yep. out that the Atlantic smoked salmon has um, has some like artificial coloring in it. So uh, I was like, oh okay, well I'll get this. Not much, not going to be eating that for yeah, sure. Yeah, exactly. And and wild Alaskan salmon. So what's the difference? Okay, so like Norwegian. There's like there is all if, it, if it says wild, you're like it's got to be good. Yeah, it's wild, but not necessarily probably. Well, okay. There's there's farm versus wild. Mm -hmm. F I try to get wild, but it's kind of a lesser of two evils mm -hmm. because when you have when you have you know farmed salmon, it's like in these tiny yeah. tiny areas. They're like swimming in their own. Yeah. Pieces, it's like not good. Yeah. Wild is definitely better for you, but you get, you know, when you're fishing for wild fish, there is um, bycatch, which means mm -hmm. that the, the fishermen bring up other things from the ocean that mm -hmm. then are kind of wasted. So yeah. it's, good if, it's good if you know who your fisherman is. Yeah. You know what the next step is, right? Once you have your garden, the next step is having your own chickens, a chicken coop. Oh my and god. And making your own eggs. This girl, you can't stop her. You can bring the farm to you. I can bring the farm to you. I also like cooking shrimp because they're really easy, you know? Yeah. It's easy to tell when they're done. Yeah, right. It's like, it just doesn't, doesn't take much effort. So we can just scoop these guys out in there. And this is, there are a million ways to do this, but if you get good avocados that yeah. are soft, then... But I'll 
also what I like about these soft avocados is that you can eat them in like one sash. Yeah. You know, because avocado is always brown. Even mm -hmm. if you leave the pit in there. This actually will go into my composting bin. Isn't she amazing? I love my composting bin. Okay, I'm going to turn this off. I think our shrimp are done. We can take those off and eat. I'm just going to mash the avocados. You want to cut the bread uh -huh. um, on a bias. So, mashing, and then we're going to add our, here's our arugula, but we can add our mint and our basil to this. And a little bit of lemon. And I don't want seeds to get in it, so I'm going to uh, squeeze it up. Check out the dishes dish. <laughs> okay, thank you. Awesome.